Hello there and a very good evening. Two abducted Indonesian sailors were rescued by the Philippine troops in today's 30-minute gunfight in the mountainous town of Panama on the southern island of Jolo. According to military commander Lieutenant General Chirilito Sobehana, the two victims managed to run away from the militants during the firefights and were rescued by the militants. The pair, he said, were among three Indonesian sailors abducted by the militants in September off Malaysian waters near the southern tip of the Philippine island of Mindanao. Sobehana said a military operation was underway to rescue the other Indonesian captive. Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani was on track to win a second term today after election officials announced he had scored a majority in the presidential polls. According to the Independent Election Commission, Ghani won 50.64% of the vote in the September 28 poll, easily besting Abdullah who scored 39.52%. However, despite Ghani's ap apparent clean win, his top rival, Chief Executive Abdullah Abdullah, said he would contest the result. Candidates now have the right to file any complaints they may have before final results are announced, probably within a few weeks. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un held a meeting of top military officials to discuss boosting the country's military capability. According to KCNA news agency, Kim presided over an enlarged meeting of the ruling Workers' Party's Central Military Commission to discuss steps to bolster up the overall armed forces of the country militarily and politically. Also discussed were important issues for decisive improvement of the overall national defense and core matters for the sustained and accelerated development of military capability for self-defense. It, however, did not give details on when the meeting was held nor what was decided. And that's the English news for today. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.